Well, after a summer of lying on the beach, having maybe a few too many cocktails and ice cream cones, <laughs> we've all done it. A lot of us are going to be looking to get back in shape this fall. Certainly I am. Yeah, the popularity of mud runs, obstacle course races are one of many ways to stay fit. And if that's something up your alley, then we have just the class for you. It's constant movement, right? There's no chance to even to get bored or even think about their bills or their laundry. Over at Tough Girl Fitness in Hamden, a new class is really taking off. It's called the Power Playground. Play-based training is it's huge, and it's a, it's a great way to move your body like, like a child moves. I mean, nobody teaches them. They just go out, and they climb, and they run, and they jump, and they crawl. And really, as adults, we lose that, and I'm hoping to, to bring that back a little bit and uh, help adults have fun getting fit and strong. Krista Dorn and her husband Mike started doing mud runs and obstacle courses a couple years ago. The more they did it, the more they loved it. So they decided to start a class to train people for them. So we slowly started investing in some equipment. We have monkey bars now, we have the climbing ropes, we have the cargo nets. Um, it's so much fun. Drive the elbows back and you're done. One more. Come on, you're almost there. One more, one more, one more. Woo! In the first class I was hooked. There's not many uh, of these type of classes in Connecticut for training for some of the mud runs we do. So I think there's something about it that's different that keeps me going. It's not the same every time. It's fun. It's challenging. In a little less than an hour, about 20 men and women worked their way around the room, working up quite a sweat, pushing around a tire, climbing a cargo net or a rope, running hurdles, swinging on the monkey bars, all of them using the same equipment. The men and the women, they do the exact same thing here. Like, the men are pushing that sled and the women are pushing that sled. In the fitness industry, a lot of times women are, you know, made out to be, you know, the pink weights are for the women and the big black ones are for the men, and we don't train like that here. I would recommend this to everybody who, who's interested in, especially women who are afraid to try something or who don't like being in an environment where they might feel intimidated. This is a great place to come. There's a really good support system of people um, that I look forward to seeing and working out with, and it's just different than, you know, going for a run on a treadmill by yourself at the gym. We motivate them when they don't want to. You know, I mean, it's easy to quit when you're by yourself. Ten seconds is not going to break you. You're strong. You're powerful. Most of the people at this class were intermediate or advanced, but Doran says even if you're just starting out, all skill levels are welcome. I say that you never know what you can do until you try, and that people, most people are stronger than they think. Finish strong! Yeah, it looks like a fun class, but not easy. Check, check out Tough Fitness, uh, Tough Fitness, uh, Tough Girl Fitness CT.com for more information. I'm, I'm going to stick with the ice cream cones yeah. and the cocktails on the beach. Sounds I think. good. <laughs>